example five has to do with a piecewise function. I'm pretty sure this is brand new for you guys. Um, a piecewise function, what that is, it has at least two equations, each of which applies to a different part of the function's domain. So the domain is all of our x values. So here we have our function f of x equals, and we have two equations, 2 thirds x plus 1 and x minus 3. But if you notice we have off to the right, it kind of tells us a little bit about our domain, our x values. So we are going to graph, you know, pretty much a y equals 2 thirds x plus 1 for all the x's that are less than 2. So if I look at my graph where the x's are less than 2, um, I'm going to just kind of lightly put in a vertical line right here. Because where the x's are less than 2 is everything to the left of this line. So I want to draw the graph 2 thirds x plus 1 to the left of that line that I just drew. So 2 thirds x plus 1 has a y-intercept of positive 1. So I go up 1 and I put my point. And then our slope is up 2 over 3. So I go up 2 and I go over 3 and it puts me on a point on the other side, which I actually don't want this line on the other side, but it gives me a good idea to see where this line is going to head. But now I'm going to backtrack because I want to get the line going all the way on the left side. So I'm going to go down 2 to the left 3, down 2 to the left 3. One thing that you should know about piecewise function graphs is that the lines, we always draw solid lines. That's an E. Um, so our line is on this side, and it's coming up solid line, and it's going to hit that line where x is 2. And it's going to stop. It's not going to go on the other side because we, we only are drawing this line for where all the x's are less than 2. So where this inequality comes into play, the less than, is where our line, this red line, hits my vertical line, I need to have a circle. So should I have an open circle or a closed circle for that inequality? Since it's less than, that gets an open circle, so I'm just going to put an open circle where these two meet. And I have graphed the first part of the piecewise function. Now I'm going to look at the second part. We want to graph, you know, y equals x minus 3 um, for where all the x's are greater than or equal to 2. So greater than or equal to 2 gets me on the right side of that vertical line. If you notice, a lot of things are happening in this vertical line. It kind of divides our graph into our two different equations we're looking at. So x minus 3, I am going to plot some points on the left side just quite, so I can see what's happening with our line. We have a y-intercept of negative 3, which is right here, and a slope of 1. So up 1 over 1. If I just kind of look at where these points are, here's my up 1 over 1. It's going to be a solid line, but I'm only going to draw the line on the right side of my vertical line. So all these points on the right side. And I'm going to stop when I hit that vertical line. And I need to have a circle, either open or closed, where my x minus 3 line hits the vertical line. So I look at the inequality, greater than or equal to 2. Should that be an open circle or a closed circle? And since it's greater than or equal to, we have a closed circle. And that's all we have to do for graphing a piecewise function. You have a vertical line that um, kind of splits your graph. And we have our open circle and closed circles. One line goes to the left, a different line goes to the right. Um, but that's what they look like. Kind of crazy. Um, we're going to do another example of these for sure. So let me, let me get another one.